At daybreak today, the bodies of more than half the people on board the jet were still missing in the seas off the coast of Kerry. Every available helicopter was scrambled to help in the search for the bodies. Units from the Irish Army have been called in to help with the operation at the emergency centre set up at Cork Airport. The helicopter crews have only had time to snatch a few hours sleep before flying back to the scene of the crash. Yesterday the search was spread over five square miles, but today the winds and the tides have dispersed the wreckage and bodies over a 30 mile area off the coast. The work is exhausting for the helicopter crews winching down each time the slightest piece of debris is spotted. We, we saw a uh, large rectangular object uh, appeared to be of a pyramid shape floating in the water over there. Uh. The rescue teams have reported that sharks are now in the area, making their work even more hazardous. Look at it. Uh, understand there's sharks in the area, is that correct? Each piece of wreckage is vital to the team of investigators. They could provide the crucial forensic evidence to confirm that a terrorist bomb was planted on board the Air India Jumbo. The markings from the plane are clearly visible on this piece of the fuselage. Dinghies are being sent out from the naval ships on the scene to pick up the wreckage. But there's so much debris spread over such a wide area that they're having to leave some to be marked with flares. They did find today a tragic reminder of the number of children who died in the crash. A little girl's rag doll. Even this could provide clues as to the cause of the crash. Each piece of the aircraft that's been picked out of the sea is being carefully catalogued along with its exact location. It's remarkable that such large pieces have remained afloat, including a complete row of seats. But much of the aircraft must now be on the seabed, along with the black box flight recorder. Only one more body, that of a small boy, has been discovered today by the helicopter crews, despite constant sorties over the scene. Helicopters were still taking off tonight to carry out searches above the crash area. But the chances of them finding any more bodies in the seas off Kerry are now looking increasingly remote.